Welcome back once again to the Electron Wrangler. In addition to derivatives that we covered in the last video, we need to know about integrals in order to solve differential equations. Let's look at what an integral is. We can view it as the area under a curve. We can view it as the antiderivative, and we can view it as a table like we did for the, the uh, derivatives. If I have f of x and I have the integral of f of x dx, remember I need to keep this dx or it doesn't mean anything. The integral of 0, it's c. Don't forget the constant of integration. If I have 1, it's x plus c. The integral of x to the n is x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. The integral of cosine x is sine x. And the integral of sine x is negative cosine x. The integral of e to the x is e to the x. And finally, the integral of 1 over x is ln, the natural log of the absolute value of x. And, as I usually do, I forgot my constant of integration for each and every one of these. This is important. It comes up a lot, and it's not correct without it. In addition to the tables, just as with derivatives, we have some rules that we need to remember. First, we're, we're going to look at u substitution. This is where I wrap up the integrand into a function of another variable. We usually use u. So for example, if I have the integral of sine x cosine x dx, then I can say that sine of x equals u, and then du equals cosine x. I can then say sine of x is u, sine of x is u, and cosine of x dx is du, and that's easy to integrate. I just have u du. The integral of that is u squared over 2 plus c, and then I just plug my u right back in, and I get sine squared of x over 2 plus c. And there's my solution. The next thing we want to look at is integration by parts. When all of your other tools for solving these fail, usually integration by parts is the way to go. There is a mnemonic for this as well, and that mnemonic is ultraviolet minus super voodoo. What this means is uv minus super is our big S for the integral, v du, ultraviolet minus super voodoo. If I have an integral that looks like u dv, that is equal to this above, uv minus the integral of v du. I can replace, let's look at an example. Our example will be x e to the x. Now if I had a 2, if it was x e to the x squared, I could just do a u sub. And I'd say x, I'd say u equals x squared, and then du is 2x. And I'd quickly be able to swap everything out, and I would have something in a form similar to u du. I can't do that though, because this 2 isn't there. But what I can do is follow integration by parts. One more mnemonic that's helpful here is liate, where I have logs, inverse, trig, algebraic, trig, and exponential. And this, in descending order, is which portion of the function you want to choose is u. So in our case, we don't have a log, we don't have an inverse trig, but we do have an algebraic function, and that's x. 
So we're going to say that u equals x, then we know that du equals 1 dx. We already have dv, that's e, x, d, e to the x dx. So dv equals e to the x dx. And then we take the integral of that to find v. And the integral of e to the x dx is just e to the x. And we disregard the c for this because it's going to get accounted for when we're done. Now we just plug it into our little formula here and we say that u times v minus the integral of v du. And we solve that and we say e x e to the x minus e to the x which is equal to e to the x times x minus 1 plus c. The last concept we want to consider is initial value problems. An initial value problem is one where we're given a value of y or our, our f of x that we know. Say I'm given f of 0 equals 10. This means that when x is 0, the function f is equal to 10. And we solved for f right here. So if I say that when x is 0, f of 0 equals 10 equals e to the 0 times 0 minus 1 plus c. And now I can solve for c and I have 10 equals 1 times negative 1 plus c which gives me 11 equals c and then I plug c back into the original equation and I get e to the x times x minus 1 plus 11 equals f of x. Notice that the c is gone. I've found a particular solution to the integral. That wraps it up for integrals. The next video will be a brief introduction to differential equations. After that we'll start actually solving them.